After you lead a, a breathing space, after a break time or a lunch time, it's a lot easier to start your own teaching session, and that's been noticeable across the range. I think the idea that you can actually walk into your room from quite a noisy environment like the playground, and then within a few minutes, everyone's settled and quiet, I think that has a big benefit for children. When they do come in and they are uh, practicing for meditation and they sit down at their tables and they're thinking about uh, their bodies, thinking about what they can hear around them and also forgetting about what's happened outside in the playground, it really gets them into a very relaxed state and where they're able to um, focus even better uh, in the lessons. So I've seen a, a marked improvement in that. We keep a record of positives and negative behaviours and the, the number of children who come to us for positive reasons has significantly increased. Mm. Um, but when I do an analysis of the classes where I'm asked to support with negative behaviours, I know which classes practice mindfulness. Even if some of those children come to me because they've done something that's not okay, and I ask them what they could have done differently, mm. then they say, actually, I should have taken myself away for a couple of minutes. Don't forget to breathe. Quiet in, in and out. Imagining that tension in your shoulders. Just whisking away. When I first heard of meditation, when it was introduced to the staff, there was a little bit of scepticism around it, but like any journey, the first step is the hardest. And once, once you step into meditation, it was a pleasant journey all the way through. Meditation has made me calmer during work, and when someone annoys me, I don't rush off. I just meditate and it all feels better. It helps me to focus and when you come back from in the playground you can calm down and you're in a state where you can finish and do your work and continue in a calm state. It's been great, I mean I'm, that's how I like to work with, with schools whereby it's not just a one-off intervention where some so-called expert comes in and delivers something. This is an embedded approach that will be far more effective for everybody. If children feel emotionally well their well-being has been taken care of, then attainment follows. In years to come, I think a lot more people will adopt mindfulness practice in school. I think it's a great way to settle people. I think ever since I started teaching, there were always uh, ways and methods that you could settle a class after a break time. And, but I can see this, is a, this new way does seem to be very, very effective, and I can see a lot more schools adopting it uh, as part of their daily practice. From the tip of your head to the bottom of your feet, my entire body is comfortable and relaxed. When you're meditating, you can put everything aside and concentrate and think about anything you want, so you become calmer. It helps me take a, um, a calmer approach and helps me just calm myself down, take a little breather, and it just helps me get on with my work and makes me more peaceful. Meditation allows you to clear yourself, free your mind, focus on something, and by so doing, you're able to reach into realms that you did not think that you could get to.